Hi everyone. Today I will be speaking about a common drug, thymosin alpha. Often used very heavily in reproductive immunology for patients who have had previous abortions, previous implantation failures, especially more than two IVF failures, especially more than four abortions. And we hope and we believe that this drug is going to be the magic pill you require to make sure that you don't have a further abortion. As I go through this video today, I will tell you how thymosin alpha is actually produced in the body, how it helps in your overall immunity, how do we extrapolate this in reproductive immunology and finally because it is an expensive product, how can we use it much more meticulously as far as the science is concerned so that as a patient you don't waste your money using a product which has very limited chances of benefit as far as your case is concerned. So whenever we are wanting to study how and where we are going to use thymosin alpha, first we need to understand that basically we are wanting to make sure that this embryo which is inside gets implanted. Now comes the most important thing which we should know. All right, remember, in order to give thymosin alpha, you need to have a normal pelvis. That means there should be no endometriosis, there should be no adenomyosis, there should be no fibroids, there should be no polyps. It should be a normal pelvis. Second, this embryo which we want to put has to be a euploid embryo preferably. That means you need to make sure that the embryo has been ideally genetically tested, especially because most of the patients whom you treat would have had more than three abortions at least or would have had an IVF fails more than two cycles. One more thing, you cannot add thymosin or any other immunomodulation if there is a genetic cause of abortions. That means if there is a reason why there is a genetic issue which has caused an abortion, you cannot add this drug, right? Now, see, you can see this flow chart very beautifully. Diagnose the failure. So we have diagnosed the failure. I have spoken in my previous videos about doing a uterine biopsy. This uterine biopsy will look at BCL6. It will look at uterine natural killer cells. It will also look at MUM1 plus interleukin 8. These are the common things which it ends up looking at. After that, we come to a ratio. Okay, well, yeah, is my thymosin dena hai ya nahi dena hai. And that's why we say when we add thymosin alpha, how do we add it? Kaise de? Right? What is the protocol? Remember one thing, we don't have a set protocol at the moment as we speak and we are speaking to you in 2025. So, at this moment, what do we do? We give thymosin three times a week. Now, this thymosin three times a week is going to, of course, go and increase the value of thymosin alpha in the body, which is going to broadly increase the immunity in the body. And this broad increase in immunity in a normal pelvis is believed to go and help and make sure that this embryo has a successful implantation and a successful growth. We at this moment do not know for how long should we give thymosin alpha, but in our hospital, we stop it at 9 to 10 weeks of pregnancy. We do not know if it is correct or not. We predominantly in India try to look at the cost and we do not want to exceed approximately 9 to 10 weeks of therapy. This is expensive for an Indian patient. The average cost per week of this therapy would go to around 5,000 rupees and that is expensive in an Indian situation. That is one thing. Second, we also have used thymosin alpha in patients who are having endometriosis, especially after the surgery is finished. Once the surgery is finished and the patient has had something called as peritoneal endometriosis, in that we currently have the largest series of around 700 cases which is due for publication. So it is accepted for publication and the minute it gets published, we have seen that this drug has a great role as far as reducing the recurrence of these patients is concerned in a follow-up window of more than one year. Again, 
we personally don't know how effective it actually is but because it is a drug which is now commonly used in an indian situation for an indian population i thought aap sabhi ko iske bare mein pata hona chahiye any more questions on this please post in the comments me or my team members will get back